pictures are added to this app okay so now you should come to this activity main okay so for this first of all you have to come within the coding form and then we have to change some things here first of all remove this text view and afterwards you have to add a image view here so let me add the image view instead of that text view I have given the width and height for this image view as wrap content and wrap content the margin from the top is given as 16 dp and margin from the bottom is given as 184 dp and few more properties like as it is in a constraint layout and it is acting as that parent layout to this image view that's why we have to add some constraint properties also like bottom to bottom of and then top to top of and then start to start of and end to end of so I'm just adding those properties here this is the last one okay so now the image for this image view that we have downloaded from the internet we have to give its source as it got placed in drawable folder so drawable slash is the name of that image that we have downloaded and renamed it after downloading okay so now the id for this particular image view will be added and the id is image view 2 and v is capital okay now close this image view so this is closed and after this we have to add a linear layout with properties width and height as match parent and wrap content afterwards we have to give more properties for this uh, linear layout like orientation should be vertical and gravity should be center for this particular linear layout and now some uh, properties like constraint top to bottom of here we will give the idea of the image view so this linear layout will be placed at the bottom of this image view that we have added previously okay so within this linear layout we have to add something so what it could be like we have to add a image button here so we will get it and its width should be 50 dp and its height should also be 50 dp okay and now the properties like background tint for this so it should be of white color and now the scale type as this will contain an image as a image button view that's why we are giving that scale and now the image finally drawable and mic it is also downloaded from the internet and further renamed and placed in drawable folder okay so all things are completed right now as you can see that now I'm showing you that this is gonna be the layout for the application so one is that uh, image view and the second one is that image button okay so right now come back and we have to uh, design few more things like what we have to see we have uh, three xml's and we have completed the first one and the left out one is this activity assistant so this is the second activity as this application is containing only two activities first is the main activity and second one is the activity assistant okay so this will show you uh, the result in like a checkbox like you are asking for a command like how's the day how's how's the day 
and like how's the weather so this app will re reply you in voice like it will speak up and will also give that in written in the form of like a whatsapp chat so this is for that here we are using data binding and for data binding your parent layout should be layout and we have left out that data tag empty as we are going to introduce some variable to it okay so now i'm giving the constraint layout here and for that i'm giving the background as the color primary and afterwards let me take up that uh, context as to that uh, activity and now the id so the id should be assistant constraint layout okay so now this is done and within this linear layout we have to add the text views so let me add the text view here so the text view will be contained within that recycler view okay so this is the recycler view and the text view will be in the item layout okay so here we have to introduce only the recycler view with linear layout manager okay so it is also almost done as we have to give some properties related to that parent constraint layout so let me give those properties here bottom to bottom of and to end of okay then start to start off afterwards we have to give top to top of and here parent okay perfectly fine we have closed this let me give the id for this recycler view and the id should be recycler view but in small okay so after this recycler view we have to also give a image button and let me see that code of image button and i think we should copy it so i will copy it till this linear layout by control c and then i will just paste it here okay so this will save my time and here you have to give the id of recycler view okay so let me see the design part right now as you can see that this button is out of the screen so that's why we have to arrange this up to this so make it wrap content and now it is looks somewhat good okay so as you can see that it is a recycler view so it will connect the whole part of the screen okay so now after this i'm just scrolling down so if you have messed up at anywhere then please pause the video and correct your code okay so this is almost done only that uh, data binding part is left out but also the id for this image view is left out so let me give the id for it as assistant then action and then button okay so the id is given for this particular image button and now i have also left out the id for this image button so i have to give the id for this button also so giving the id as action underscore button okay so the id is given and this is also error free you can see that let me scroll it down so that if you can correct your code if you have mistaken at any here this is the design part only where generally people don't make mistakes so now this is the data binding part here we have to give the you know variable and the variable name is assistant view model okay 
and now we have to give the address for that uh, v model class so let me see that here you can see that it is located within the assistant package so now let me type it com dot example dot google assistant dot assistant and then finally the name of this particular class okay so it is also completed and closed let me show you the output and again the code i'm scrolling it down so if you have messed up then pause the video and correct it okay so now the only part is for item layout and it is a part of that recycler view if you have earlier worked with that recycler view then you must know that recycler view contains item layout and this layout will show the item of uh, recycler view and here we are designing that items okay so it is kind of a map and in this map various items will be created in the list of the same design okay so now we have to give the background for this parent constraint layout and it should be attribute and then like if i have to change it like attribute then color on primary okay so it is done and within this we have to give the text view as i have talked it earlier that uh, that recycler view will contain a text view and why the text view text view is because of that uh, you know the text part the speaking part of that assistant and also of user will be there so that's why and here the layout margin from the start is given as 16 dp and then origin from the top is 32 dp also remember very important thing the id for this particular text view is assistant underscore message okay now the margin from the bottom side is 8 dp and now some properties related to the text style so the text color is from color and white okay and the text size so what should be the text size is 30 sp and now the text style and text style should be italic okay so this is also almost done just like the properties for that parental constraint layout is left out so this is for human message as it is showing error it is not yet created but after this view that particular view will be created okay so now this top to top up and it should be of parent okay now close this we need similar text view for the next human message text view so just copy it okay so i've just copied it by control c and then you just have to paste it here and now you have to change within few properties like changing this to assistant message from that uh, human message and give the id for this particular text view as human underscore message now these margin kind of things will also be changed first of all the margin from the start will be changed to 40 dp and the margin from the top will be changed to 8 dp and now the margin from the end is 16 dp and margin from the bottom is taken as 16 dp okay so now this text view is completed as you can see that but uh, there is some problem with this you know constant layout properties like it should be i'm just checking out if there is mistake so here it is is top to bottom off okay so just cross these things and make sure that uh, you have to kept your codes as similar to that of mine here we have to give the id and the id for this assistant layout okay assistant message okay and it is bottom off 
bottom to bottom off okay and now just remove this and make it parent okay so now let me show you the design part so this is how it will look like you know just like a chat structure in whatsapp okay but only the text view and that uh, background will be there